Welcome to Go Leopards. I am Mike Joseph for Inside the Huddle, and today we're going to talk about punt return and the opportunities that Lafayette can create offensively by getting a good return. Well, the first thing I used to talk about when I was coaching the punt return team was setting up the offense with good field position, and basically this is your first down of your series. A couple different things we want to talk about, discipline, effort, and being athletic. On the punt return team, we have a wonderful punt returner back here, Jared Roberts who if you give him time and he can catch the football in space, he can make a lot of things happen. Up front here, usually you get about eight guys up front to rush the punt. You're going to bring guys forward. If you can get some sort of a block inside, maybe create an overload on one side, sometimes the best return is a good block, basically because these guys have to backpedal, they have to release after they block. So if you can create the illusion of a rush, which basically, again, lets you get down the field and set up your return a little bit better. So creating the illusion of rush sometimes is your best return. Being disciplined, the guys on the outside that are covering the gunners, it's their responsibility to look down the line of scrimmage and make sure everybody is onside. If you have a fourth and five or less, you do not want to be offside in the neutral zone or jump, creating a first down for the offense. So be very disciplined with that. The second thing we want to talk about is effort. And effort means basically when there is a released uh, a guy to cover the punt, these guys are all releasing basically in their lanes, trying to get down and get full coverage of the punt. You want to make sure you drive into your man and make him release to the outside. And then you want to run in his hip. So often we see in professional football and in college football, block in the back. You see it so often on a punt return or on any special teams play. You do not want to attempt to block the man as you're running downfield. Stay in his hip pocket. When he eventually breaks down to make the tackle, you want to get your head across and drive him to the outside or inside based upon what Coach McFadden wants you to do. Same thing on this side. Once you drive into the man, he starts to release. Get in his hip pocket. When he starts to shuffle his feet, get back in front, drive the man to the outside. So if you continue to block on the way down the field, a good chance you're going to get a block in the back. The last thing we want to talk about is, again, being athletic. If you give Jared some time back here, whether you're going to wall inside and block everybody down and maybe set up some sort of a wall on this side and get Jared to the corner, making somebody miss. There's always going to be a free release, whether it be the uh, long snapper or the personal protector. Let him make one man miss. Be athletic in the open field. Both he and Joey Chenoweth have the ability to do this. Get to the edge. Create some field position. So Lafayette doesn't have to go 70 or 80 yards. Once you do that, you get into the red zone, there's more opportunities to score. Punt return is one way Lafayette can put more points on the board, and they're going to have to do it this weekend down at Multipurpose Field in Georgetown. 2 o'clock, we'll see you there.